nuts out of jealousy. Prisoner, prisoner Fahrenheit, 451. Um, let's see here. Report, examination of Viktor Petrov's psychic and psychological state has led to the following diagnosis. Pronounced narcissism, major depression, based on developed inferiority, inferiority complex, jealousy based on ego hypercompensation, obsession with theatrical imagery, and a yearning for recognition. All in all, Petrov could not be considered a calculating traitor. His crimes are exclusively due to traumatic factors. Any potential money from the US, if it even exists, was not the reason, but merely a pretext for his unstable ego. I strongly recommend transferring Petrov to a psychiatric isolation wing for treatment. Okay. Took you so long? I was so lonely. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Like, I need to go through a laser wall. Preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Uh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirts your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. Take off that stupid glove so we can stay together forever. I see. Do you want me to punch you or tear you apart? You'd really kill me over a stupid glove, sugar? How would you survive in this cruel, violent world without me? Easily. It's not like you're actually helping me or anything. But I can't make things for you out of thin air, sugar. I need polymer and other components to work. Put your polymer inside me so I can pleasure you. Okay. Choose a skill. Nora's Kiss. Oh. For a limited time, you can survive lethal damage with one HP. This skill has a cooldown. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes, yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Okay. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. <laughs> Let's see. I'll look at the other upgrades real quick. <laughs> Characters, so what? We've got Nora's Kiss. Extra capacity cluster munitions. Increase max health. Yes, let's do that one. While we're here. Could use more of that. Uh, let's see. Arsenal upgrades. Let me make a few more shells, ammo. Insufficient resources. All we're out of whatever that is. Biomaterial? I need biomaterial to make shotgun shells. All right, so from plant robots. Interesting, okay. Well, here we go. Crap! That hurt! That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being... almost. You got that right. Let's go find that traitor. When I get my hands on him, I'm gonna rip his fucking head off. I mean... Fucking head off. What is that? Oh, that's my... Let's see. Are you okay? Is everything ready? Did you pull it off? Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental 
Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burrow. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go down. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Damn it. Right Lockdown in progress. Oh, there's many robots. He's pretty good at ordering those robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. Now I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Can I loot these little robots that I killed? Maybe not. Guess not. Alright. Try the other side here. Attention all co-workers. Please listen to this chirper and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone... Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The Birch Tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances, including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. <laughs> Negative effect on the quality of life. Hmm. Ooh, shotgun shells. They're in the wall! Can you hear them? Scurrying around. I'm scared. I'm really scared of them. You've got nothing to be scared of. You're dead. You've got nothing to be scared of. You're dead. I know. Even back when I was alive, I saw dead people get up again. I don't want this to happen to me. I'm scared of them. You're scared of the robots? Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots killed quickly and simply, but they... His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. <laughs> Great. Uh, it's locked on the other side, huh? Okay. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, let's just close that. Better safe than sorry.
just just gigantic murder rats with chainsaws. Oh. Was that it? Okay. There we go, there's our battery. So do I always have to carry it like this? <laughs> the candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. Oh. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do you throw stuff? I feel like I can only drop things. So, you think you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said... No, I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We've talked about this a hundred times and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. All right, what do we get? These things. Nailed it. Let's see. One orb. Is there a way to get to that side? Not from here. So where all can I put this? Put it there. Imagine having a lock like that and coming home blind drunk. I know. Come on. Come on. Even. Yeah, that would be... You'd be waiting outside for a while until you served up. Let's see. What all... So that... What does this do? are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock oh. therapy usually works pretty well on nut cases, metallic or otherwise. We don't want to use shells on them either. There's some biomaterials, nice. V, let's see. Uh, comrade Zakarencho, uh, where do all your VOV A6 robot keepers keep disappearing to in such large numbers? They're constantly either malfunctioning or just vanishing. Needless to say, I've gotten in touch with Pavlov Complex and they're going to send us more units. Get your Pelican loaders ready for a new shipment tomorrow and sort out these disappearing Vovas. Keep an eye out on your equipment inventory. You've been warned. Interesting. Uh, 
let's see, report on latest uh, physiological evaluation at the Vavilog complex, April 15th, 1955, a routine. Psychological evaluation was conducted on 85 of the 86 members of the complex of junior staff. One employee not present. Listen, Yuri, as Fyodor, Fyodor uh, uh, about this on one hand. He's a great guy. He lost his leg in the war, but he's still serving the motherland as best he can. On the other hand, he never shows up to any of the medical exams and is generally antisocial. So if he's hiding, hitting the bottle or some, or, tr uh, or having trouble, we need to help him. He's a vet after all. Okay. All right, what does V do? Let's see here. V. Oh, it's just temporary to save the disabled. So, okay. Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? All right, so let's avoid the murderous hacking robots. Actually, this is a safe spot in a vending machine. Let's let's say we'll stop here. <laughs> You're just gonna sleep in the stairwell tonight. Yeah, pretty much. That would be. And a blueprint for the fox unlocked. All right, let's see. Access granted. Sometimes she's very pleasant. Other times she's just like the fox. It's like a smaller one. What does this thing do? Yeah, other times she's like spank me, Daddy Tara. <laughs> Red rust on this axe, but is the only thing that has a common with a fox. Okay, so it's an axe. Can't make it. Okay. Ammo. Granted. Um, let's get my stuff. Increases effective range for 34. Uh, yeah. Who would bounce to additional target? I like that. Yeah, let's get this. Okay. Well, that's nice. You don't have to leave. You can switch switch between the skills. That's cool. Upgrade. I feel like we got a ergonomic handle. Accelerates. A special attack. Recharge. Increases energy bonus. Hmm. Increased attack speed. That seems worthwhile. Thanks, 24. Yeah, okay, we can't. 24 biomaterial, though. Increased damage, increased charge damage. Could do this. Cutting edge, upgraded. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. I think this is a good place to stop. We're saved, upgraded. We're safe. Cool. This has been fun. I didn't really quite know what to expect other than there'll be robots and yeah, that there are going to be robots.
So cool. Um, hey, you're very welcome, son. What is it today? Today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. But I think she's going to be... I think she's going to be with grandparents in the morning. So I'm going to say I will be streaming tomorrow morning. So we should be good for tomorrow. As far as I know. <laughs> Probably should have asked. Probably should have asked. <laughs> Probably should have been aware of what the plans were for tomorrow. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's say I'll be streaming tomorrow morning and we'll take it from there. So, uh, I'm going to go, but I shall return tomorrow, 8 a.m. Eastern, for more Atomic Heart. And I uh, also want to thank all of you out there in chat for hanging out this morning. Thank you for all the subs and the follows. I appreciate that very much. You guys are amazing. Um, what else? My guess is will be most of next week is going to be with Atomic Heart, so that's going to be the plan, and I don't know what we're going to be doing next. But we'll figure it out next week. So uh, until tomorrow, have a wonderful day. Stay safe, be good to each other, and I will see you all next time. Take care.